happy Monday, everybody. Um, I'm in the shed, as I said on my video. I do apologise about the inconvenience of the premiere on Sunday. Nothing went to plan. Um, so I do apologise about that, but I managed to get it up. Um, so thanks everybody for their comments and everything as well. Um, as I said in the video, I am going to be getting on with the shed today. Uh, so I am going to basically get underneath sorted out. Some stuff in here that doesn't need to be in, and I'm also going to get the onions sorted out as well. I'm going to see if I can get this taken down because the le the, the leaks here are a bit uh, too close and they're starting to cause a bit of burn on them, and they're once again neglect. So uh, I need to get this light brought up, which I can't do in this tent, so I'm going to take the tent down. Um, so that's what the plan will be as well. So get this entire shed sorted out into a much more usable condition. I'm about 45 minutes in, I've got another side sorted out. So I've got a bit of storage. I've still got my uh, strawberry wine there as well in the corner. Just using this for just general storage underneath here. I'll tell you what, the strawberry wine here, it's been sitting here for a good few months. It's lovely and clear, lovely red colour as well. I'll have to get a bottle of that and stick it in the house and see what it's like later. But uh, yeah, that's where they are. Right, that's the bottom sorted out. Now time to get the top sorted out as well. Tell you what, let's do before and after. So I'm going to get these taken out of here, get the ones that I'm keeping. I'm going to get the tent taken down as well. Um, so let's see what it's like afterwards. There we go. Shed, sorted, tidied, reorganised. So let's show you a top and under here. So as you can see underneath, like I say, I've still got some stuff underneath, but it's it's stuff that I need in here, not just rubbish. Um, I did have a couple of trays of sawdust um, that I needed for the onions, which is no good anymore. So I know where things are, I know what's happening over there, that's absolutely fine. Up here, I've not really done anything on in the onion um, veto pod. I have taken out the other onions that I don't think are going to be any good. These are the onions that I got off... Uh, or Tim from Gardener's Paradise, they're going underneath the SF2000 um, and I've got these normal onions here as well as the ones at the side, I've got a couple of heavies there which need potting up which I'll do at the weekend um, or when I get a chance to this week if I manage to get in and do a couple of hours it's great as you can see from this side here I have uh, moved the Vitapod, the small one, so I've just got the, the compost bin in that corner so that's that done there, I've cleaned down the, um, the, the stock leaks Stock onion, should I say? So I've got a couple of stock onions there. Let's just turn this light on. So a couple of a couple of stock onions there. I've also replaced the the. This is the. Oh, this is for the for the air basically. So moist for the moisturizer for the moisturizer for the moisture in the air. And um, so I've got that that sorted out. The leaks. I'll show you what I've done with these in a second. Um, I have opened them all up, and they all need a spray. Because they've all th they're all covered in thrip. But I'll tell you about that in a second. Um, and on this side, I've got the little Vitapod under the SF1000. And I've got in here, and I've got a couple, of the, a couple of the smaller onions. I've got some giant red cabbage. And I've also set the tomatoes away. So in that one there, we've got money maker on that side. God has to light that side. And they're set at 18 degrees, as you can see on the little timer there, the thermometer. So that's on 18 degrees under there. And it's uh, I've set them away today because I didn't get a chance to set them away yesterday. But what's a couple of hours, basically. We'll see. Uh, these are starting away later. So this might. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. So I've got the lid back on there. I've got my watering cans filled up. I've had these T5s out to see which uh, what's needed to be done with them. See what lights are um, working, which ones are not. I need a few bulbs uh, for the lights. But uh, there's a couple of them all right. But I think that's a good day's graft. Um, getting everything sorted in here, which I'm pleased with and I feel much better. Uh, I've also cleaned the wall down at the back. So the wall was all cleaned down from the from the mildew. I haven't done this side yet. Um, but you can also see I've got my calendar up as well. So this is the calendar I got off uh, Ben from the Young Grower. And uh, it's telling me a lot of different things here. As you can see, average light, nine hours, risk of snow and frost, well before we had the snow, ice winds, we had that as well. So, so far it's been on point. I had pancake day here, yeah, shortly, I've seen, I've seen pancake day, <laughs> Valentine's day. Um, but 
later on this this month, where he would start, he would start sowing his parsnips and sowing his early carrots. Um, lots of good stuff on there. But that's me all sorted. A few moments earlier. Right, I'm busy clearing out all of the leaks here. Um, and I just want to show you something very quickly. I have very bad thrip. Thrip on leaks takes away, you can see it all there. It's all horrible. And like I say, this is just pure neglect. So I need to get it back on top. I need to get on top of the spraying. Uh, I did see a thrip in here when I opened it up. It has run back and down to the center. I'm going to see if I can catch it. I'll see if I can see it there. It's there, right there. See that little thing there moving around? That's a thrip and it's running down the center. So I'm going to get my sprays out, which luckily enough, I do have my sprays. I've got some, uh, I've got some Dynamec and uh, I've also got some, uh, sorry, no, there's the Dynamec, got the Dynamec. And I've also got some spray, got some Signum and stuff as well. So uh, I'm going to get that sorted out and I'm going to get these starting to get these sprayed again. Because uh, I'm, as I'm pulling them out, you can just see how bad they are. They need potting up as well from uh, the 11 centimeter pots into the one liter pots. So I'm gonna have to get some one liter pots in as well, which I'll have to get the weekend. So, uh, but yeah, I thought I'd quickly show you what they were like. Uh, they are an absolute mess. I'll pull these right back. I don't want to damage the, the flags, but I do need to open all of these up, which I will do when I start putting them back in. So yeah, with the neglect comes uh, Thrip, which is in here, but I've already given them a spray of Dynamec. And I need to keep on with this and I'm gonna set timers on my phone so that I can get the Dynamec sprayed. Um, and uh, three like every three days so i'll keep on top of it uh, these do need potting up these leaks so i'll have to get myself some uh, one liter pots at the beginning like i've said and then uh, that's them all sorted as well I do have heat mats underneath this vitapod base so that's going to be interesting when the time comes if need be because these will not be long until they're going down to the garden to sit in the greenhouse so i can get the other stuff sort sorted out in here but um yeah that's me sorted for the day it's been uh, been tiresome but i'm pleased i mean it managed to get it done i'll catch you at the weekend and we'll see what we can get sorted then what an absolutely lovely saturday morning the sun is absolutely shining it is currently what's it, it's about 37 that's the highest it's been in here uh 30 degrees in the greenhouse as you can see here there you go 30 degrees 30.3 and that is 30 degrees, 86 Fahrenheit. And that's how warm it is in the, sh in the greenhouse. Absolutely lovely and warm. I've been down to the Lockman Hut this morning, spotted a few regular faces, and I've got myself some compost. Now, not only have I picked myself some compost up, but I've also run into a familiar face as well. Do you know when you see people and you just think, I recognize your face? Why do I recognize your face for? And I was down there and somebody just did the usual and pointed and went, Dean! <laughs> So <laughs> it was nice to have a chat with some of the lads dads down there. And I was mentioning I've got to pop up and drop some compost off a deer from Dave's allotment. And uh, the chap who was standing there went, Oh, I know Dave. I'm his allotment neighbour. It was only bloody Ray. <laughs> so I knew I recognised his face. Um, so I had, a, I had a quick little chat with Ray this morning from uh, next door to Dave's. Um, but yeah, I picked myself some compost up. I got some Humax. I got some clover, clovers for the um, for the leeks and stuff, and I've got some Humax for the tomatoes and stuff like that as well. So um, that's good. That's, that's all sorted. I'm getting prepared. So I'm going to nip up to Dave's now and drop your stuff off. So delivery oncoming. Um, but I want to show you something in the back here. So I had this ball over the top. And look at that. Oh, hey, I've got a sweet pea. <laughs> So I've got one single sweet pea sorted. I will be sowing some more. I'm going to take, the, the, I will end up taking these home and just reusing them and just putting some more seeds in so that the mice kind of get to them because the mice have had a field day. So um, I am going to set some more sweet peas away because it's still not too late to set them away yet, but I've never sown them away this late before, but you can still sow them. So I'm going to give them another bash. As for the experiment for the seeds, the tomato seeds and the cucumber seeds sown in a gro cold greenhouse, I've just given these a little bit of water. There's nothing coming up yet. Nothing coming up on the money makers. Nothing coming up on the Garden as Delight. Like I said, I just did these uh, on the 21st. So it's only been a few days and there's nothing on the cucumbers neither yet. So uh, as you can see there yourself, nothing on the cucumbers. So yeah, that's, uh, that's that sorted in here for the day anyways. But yeah, it was a nice little surprise. Right, time to get sorted and we'll head up to Dave's. 
Right down on Dave's allotment here. Um, he's got the he's got the spade and the fork out ready to go. <laughs> Come for a bit of exercise. Raising the background there. That's what I seen this morning. Uh, stood behind us. That was uh, like you say that was a bit of a bit of a giggle. Um, but I've just brought the compost and stuff down. I'm going to see what Dave's up to. Oh, Dave. Ari. What you got? What have I got you for you? Humor. Is that some proper compost? Is proper it? Compost. Proper compost. Not like that rubbish that you've got from last week. And Clover Professional. I uh, brought them some uh, some Humax down and some Clover Professional as well to play with. And uh, Ray's brought them brought them down them potatoes that uh, from from earlier that I I seen him picking up. Picasso, get in. So he's got some Picasso teddies there Cheers, as well. He's <laughs> <laughs> just, just in his green house over there. <laughs> But I, there you go. Used, used to got some decent compost to play with now instead oh, of that man. stuff. Oh, hey, I tell you what, there's Don't messages. Aye, tomorrow. Aye, tomorrow. No, like you say, it's an absolutely beautiful day of the day. The sun is shining. There is not a cloud in the sky. Do you want a little quick exclusive? Come on, we'll have a look. What's going on? In the greenhouse. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, got sweet peas up. Yeah. Hey, there you go. Just looks like mine. My my single one that I found. <laughs> I haven't tried. I'm going to buy some more though this afternoon and go down to Wilkinson's and get some more seeds. It's weird. I've got plenty of compost to play with now. And it's been early time to get everything sorted come March, isn't it? Because we start all stuff off uh, in March up here, like I've been telling everybody previously. Well, I've been looking at my old videos in the past, in the last year. And the year before that, it was March when you were coming down. Remember when you were helping us uh -huh. with the sweet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's always been around about now. And on days like this, fantastic. Definitely. <laughs> Sometimes you still didn't need to be too eager, though. Well, but Because uh, but, you never know what it's going to be like. The, the weather could go back down to minus. Could be frosty again. Aye, so don't show them in potatoes. No, no, I'll not show you potatoes. That's not today. That's for Dave's video. Uh, so his video. <laughs> but this is my video. Okay, this distance. <laughs> right, I'm going to quick, do a bit, quick bit of digging here. And then uh, that's going to be me heading back down to my plot. Get away. <laughs> That's all that sorted out. Digging done. Exercise done. Spot on. Your turn to get cracked on now. <laughs> hey, you know what? I should get Dean down here more often. Eh? <laughs> Just wait till come down to mine. Alright. Oh, missed a bit. Hold on. There you go. Right, I think I've done more work on your garden this year than I've done on my own. <laughs> right, take a seat. Goodbye. Well, that's my visit concluded. Got a bed dug for him, and we'll leave Dave to get on with the rest of his own garden as well. Well, by the way, congratulations on your 7,000 subs, mate. Cheers. Absolutely fantastic. If you haven't done so, head over to Dave's garden, Dave's Lotman Garden, and uh, hit that sub. And uh, we'll be looking forward to some more live videos in the future. So uh, <laughs> keep, <laughs> keep yourself safe. It's freaking crackers, honestly. I am getting out of here. Right, I'll catch you later, mate. You watch my cat. Right, I'm away. Right, See you later. <laughs> Thank you very much for the compost and all that kind of thing. Not a no. bother. Back off. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. <Ray. laughs> right, time to head back to uh, to my plot now. See what I can get sorted. Right, not my plot, as you can see. I'm on Leslie's plot. There's Leslie there potting up the bay tree that uh, Dave gave her. So I came away from Dave's with a few goodies. Um, some bay, some uh, some like hedge edges as well, which is in this blue bag here. Um, I just thought I'd give you a show around what's happening on Leslie's plot, or what's not happening on Leslie's plot at the minute, uh, and I'll tell you what jobs that need to be done, basically. So as you can see, the garden's not really been touched at all. Weeds are coming up, the grasses are coming up. I need to get uh, back in here and get this sorted out. We've got a greenhouse here that needs to be put up. Um, the polytunnel needs to be finished off, as you can see. I know a lot of you have been asking about it. Uh, I've just pulled this green cover, the blue cover, across to cover over this section here and just cover that section because it's uh, the difference basically is like this. Underneath here is just grass, but underneath this bit is like that. That's why I always say cover the bits that you're not doing because you can always come back them later on. So that's been left like that. 
I need to get some more wood for the outsides and get everything sorted with this, but I know what jobs I need to get done with it, but it will get done eventually. Um, the pots and everything, I need to get some slate or some, um, I need to get some slate or something back on the wood chip to be so it lasts a bit longer. Also weed kill other pots. The beds, I need some, we need to get some more compost to top this all this up with. So it's all about money really at the end of the day as well. At the back here, the gap back here, should I say? We've got Leslie's T shed. The T shed is um, coming away, it's falling to bits. Like I said, it's always going to be temporary, it's really old. Um, but at the minute, there is a gap now, a couple of gaps there. There's one there, and there's one there. And also, I thought I had this all sealed up, turns out it didn't. So, when we come in here, like you see, it's all sealed up around the edge here. Done a really good job with this. But then, if I go under here, going under here, you can see we're forgetting to cover up under there as well. So that needs to be sorted out as well because Leslie's fire is now just rusty. <laughs> so I've got that to sort out next time I get a chance to come down. So I've got a list of materials I need to get. Sky's hiding behind us in the corner. You can see she's following us around like a bad smell. I don't know what you're holding up, you fool. Stick but uh, I put uh, that's another task that I need to get sorted out. So at the minute, I'm just observing and jotting things down what we need, um, and going to be putting prices together to see what stuff uh, we're going to need eventually. This shed, I do want to build a bigger, better shed, but obviously that's on jobs of list to do when the time frame comes round. So as I mentioned, the plan was that we're going to put the greenhouse here, so we need to get some sand and get stuff sorted for the base with that. Uh, the I uh, showed you where the greenhouse was before, so that's all been covered, ready to go. Let's like say I'm pleased we've managed to cover that over. Um, the the ground the ground structures there, the the it's it's there, ready to go. I just need to spend a, possibly a couple of weeks and obviously get all the materials and stuff sorted. Lad next door's done a great job in that garden there because it was just it just looked like it just looked like that, and. They've got grass in, they've got all sorts of great, they've done really well with the garden while we've been away. You can see the difference that they've made, so well done to them. And as you can see, Steve's here as well. So Steve and Kirsty brought the kids down and he's uh, just filling up the paths there for the, with some wood chippings that's arrived. So just having a chin wag over the fence, of course. That's what Leslie's plot's looking like at the minute. And like you say, we need to get that sorted out, but it will get done. Crack on, honey. Crack on. Morning. It's Sunday morning. Uh, I've got one task at the moment to get sorted before I can do Benny potting up. And that's sort this greenhouse out at home. So let's spin you around and show you what mess I've left myself with. So this is my greenhouse. This is where I had my first, um, my first uh, grow room at the back here. Got my bench here. I've got the <laughs> I've got the Joe's Long Chili from last year, which I've just left in here, neglected. Um, I've also got my pot and bench down here as well. Everything is just an absolute pigsty. So the task is to get everything sorted off the top of the benches. Uh, I'll show you about my pot and bench, and obviously get everything else sorted in here as well. So let's begin. Right, part way through the mess. It might not look like I've done much, but uh, we've tied it up with the bottom, bottom around the base all the way around. Me and Leslie, Leslie's come and give us a hand here as well. And um, basically just put stuff on top of the bench for the time being so that I can scrape across the bottom and then I can stack stuff up a lot better. Um, so far we've got this much rubbish. There's one, two, three, four, five, six bags in a little bag there as well. So that's seven bags of rubbish. I'm going to go and empty a couple of these into the bin outside and then start again. But I found a few, so I found some stuff in here. Um, found me raffia, found uh, some metal poles, some clips, some uh, some labels, a little bit of Humax compost left, so I'll get that started. Some slug traps, which I'll put a good use later on another time. Um, I've still got to sort this little bit out yet, but uh, yeah, and I've also made a decision that the leaks, this is one of the leaks from inside the, the shed, um, will be going into five litre pots straight away now. So I've got that to do. Um, from the amaryllis, um, it's got two baby amaryllis on the side, so I'm going to take that out there and put that into a bigger pot as well. Um, and a couple of onions set and some some seeds here as well. So there we go. Right, time to crack on. I'm going to time to chat. And after another about 45 minutes of an hour, that's. 
that's sorted up and tidied out so what i've done is i've got all my stack all the trays and everything stacked up there i've got uh, potatoes i've got garlic um stacked there i've got some empty boxes there as well i've got um, some raffia that i found i've got all my pots and everything in here so my plastic pots as you can see through there um, I've got my one liter pots on the top of there. I've got some aloe vera there, which I'm just going to leave in them pots to give them a drink. And the back side here is all cleared out. The bench is all cleared out across the top as well. And this bench is cleared out as well. And underneath here is my dog bed, which is the compost bin. That's all cleared out. I've got some more um, trays down here with the pots in. So I've had a good clear out. And I want to show you this section here because I was talking about it last night on Monty from My Family Gardens live video what I was a part of. So uh, I'll tell you about, a little bit more about this. So what I've done here, and I did this totally by accident, is I've created a canny little potting bench. Now, the reason why this is a little bit different, and I think it's really good, is that the, the bottom, let's say it's a dog bed, with the holes uh, I've taped up underneath, in the top section here, it's just reused, um, it's just reused material, reused wood, but I've made it slats across the top here, and I've just stapled the um, the mesh, the wire, the the, the the plastic mesh to the top. So when I put the compost on the top, if I want to sieve it, if it's not, if it's still a bit thick, all I need to do, just push it through there, side to side, goes down, and also breaks up nicely as well. So that goes down back into the compost bed. No need to mess about. And then see if I want to do a bit of potting up, for example. So let's go. So we've got a big pot here. We'll get. Uh, we we'll need to pop this up in here. Let's have a look. So we've got, we've got the apple blossom. Oh, forgetting the name of it again, Leslie. What's it called? The... Uh... <laughs> I've written it on the back of that. No, I haven't. Where have I put it? I put it on the bottom. I put it in the pot, haven't I? I'm Go on. Somebody shot. Right, somebody shouting at us. Anyways, everybody shouting at us. I'm shouting at myself now as well. Anyways, I've got this, which I need to potting up. As you can see, it's still got a good root system on it. I've got a couple. I've got two come off the side here. I don't know if they're they're fresh or they're new plants. Well, they were coming off anyways. I like to pot them up. Um, let's see what happens with this one as well. Probably just taking them off when I shouldn't have done, but it's got, it's got a root, root on that one, so I'll pop them two up separately. The big one, the main one, needs popping up. I'll take the dead skin on the outside. Oh, Leslie, can't, it's still bugging us. It starts with an A. Starts with an A, Leslie. What is it? That was just two little pot there. I want to get in a bigger pot. So, is that going to be? That's still too small. Be a larger pot. Or three litre this time round. So, three litre pot there. So, all I need to do, go underneath, go over the top, put it in there, stick that in, and then I do have a, uh, I do have a sieve. I do have a, um, a scoop, sorry, should I say. Just stick that on. And the beauty of this is when I overload the pot, it doesn't matter because it goes straight down into back into the dog bed. So I'll push that down the side. That's that, and pot it up. And what I'll do is I'll get two smaller yeah. pots for these. <laughs> I'll put these in one of your pots. So pop that in there. Take that, leave these on the top of here. One rooters. I won't do them. I probably I shouldn't have probably taken them off to be honest. I probably needed to stay on the plant. But that's them done anyways. But look, look, no mess. All sorted, done, on to the next. Very handy. If you're thinking about making any kind of potting bench or anything in the shed or anything like that, I would recommend this. There is a little bit of bending, which is required, but you can always bring the bench up so they're not bending down too far. But uh, if that's the only thing that I would make different, that's what I would do. But Fantastic, there's the first thing potted up for 2021. I'm gonna bring the leeks in here in a second and I'm gonna get the leeks potted up into five litre pots. Cause I'm not gonna mess about in the three litres and one straight into five, from 11 centimetre pots to five litre pots. And I'm gonna get the compost in as well. Right everybody, after three, what's this called? One Leslie Compton's in, one, two, three, to Amaryllis, Amaryllis. I had to go inside the house to look at the other one to see what it was. 
It's an apple blossom amaryllis. Done. Needs a drink. I've got some water here. Let's give it a drink. And that's I always, always forget. <laughs> The one thing I do forget about. Right, I'll put that on the back side there so it's getting nice and warm. Right, let's get cracking. Right, I'm all prepared now. I've got my compost sorted. I've got my vermiculite, even, with my compost. Uh, all mixed in the bed underneath here. I've got my five litre pots, because I'm going from 11 centimetres to five litres. Normally I will go from three, not to centimetres, three litres. I normally go to three litres, not straight into five litres. I'll go from 11 centimetre pots into three litre, three litre pots and from three to five. These are five litres, they should be quite enough to be able to feed and get sorted out with the plant because timing is everything of course. So I wanna get these put into the beds outside of the trenches, sorry, the garden, first week of May. Let's see if they're ready or not by that time. It's when I normally like to plant out. So I've got nine Yorkshire Giants here to play with. I'm gonna put them into the five litre pots now pop it in a time lapse and uh, get these sorted. So let's get this done now. eight leaks left uh, I did have nine as I said but uh, I had to throw one away as you've seen before there and I wouldn't care it looked like a canny leak as well it was looking good but problems 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 down the bottom start rotting away so got to get rid of it so that'll go in the bin with everything else oh yeah it's got a bit of tidying up Sorry about that. Got a bit of tidy up to do. I want to put these back in the shed underneath the lights um, where the warmth is. I'm going to give them a good drink and then I'm going to get the onions out and I'm going to start potting the onions up into 11 centimetre pots. So I'm going to have a cup of tea first before I do that, but things are progressing nicely. Time to start doing the onions. So what I've got, so I've got the onions in the 7 centimetre pots. I'm going to pot them up into the 11 centimetre pots. So there's plenty of room to grow in there. So as you can see, Bit ahead with these, but they're going to get their chance. So I'm going to put these in. I've also got some canes as well. So I'll be popping the canes in as well. And then I will be with the little green clips here, staking them up. Now, these, I get asked a lot, where do I get these from? Now, I get them from my local allotment hut. Uh, they're good for till... They like say a couple of a couple of pots up, but then you're gonna need something a little bit stronger. Um, but you can get them from likes of Amazon, eBay, um, Alexia Garden. Uh, that's where I got these canes from as well. These thirty centimeter canes, so we're relatively cheap as well. So I'm gonna get cracked on with these ones and get these done as well. There we go. That's the peat back garden um, onions up. There's th a sign of thrip damage, which I can see and I'm aware of. Um, I'm gonna stick a couple more of these up a little bit higher up, but these are gonna come in very handy for just coming in and just going, right, that needs to be done. That needs to be moved up like this one here, for example. So what I can do is I can just stick that on like that. Stick that one on like that. Squeeze them together. What do you got? Bibbidi bobbidi boo. There we go, done. So, in fact, there's another one there which I want to get sorted. This one here, some of them are bigger than others. Some of them are outside. Because <laughs> I chuck, chuck them outside because they're no good because they're bulbing up. These ones are not too bad, I have cleaned them off. I've missed that one there, obviously. I always do miss one, but I've cleaned them off as well. So, we'll give these a drink, put them back into the propagator, and uh, we'll back with another light. Well, that's me all sorted for today. Um, them Leeks and onions are done. This greenhouse is back to tidy. It's back to being able to be used as a potting greenhouse. Um, I do have plans in the future to move this greenhouse and the one next door. Leslie's actually been in the one next door as well and had a bit of a tidy up as well. I'll give you a quick show and I'll show you what them uh, leeks and onions are like and then I'll sign off for this week. Well, like I say, I just thought I'd quickly show you once again. That's this greenhouse sorted out. Um, 
Thanks for doing it at the back. Amarillo stone at the back. Hey, remember the name. Um, I put this little tray here because I do have a bit of a leak from the window. Um, at the top, these windows do need a good clean. Um, put back in. But uh, I'll leave that there so the compost doesn't get wet. I am going to put a bit of a plastic cover over the top so it keeps the uh, compost not dry, dry. Um, next door, as you can see, Leslie's there. Uh, Leslie's been out. There's been lots of work done. She's got her roses there. She's chopped her roses back. She's even been down at the bottom as well with the mini mums down here and she's getting all the mini mums cut back as well. So it's all tidied in here as well, ready to go. Absolutely fantastic. Right, take my head back in the greenhouse. Or oh, I should say the shed. So in the shed here, what I've got, I've got the leeks. I've got eight for myself and I've got six for Ben as well. Um, like I say, I wouldn't be, I'm not too much worried in regards to what I'm doing. Uh, that'll do me. I'll go for quantity over quality. I have given everything a spray as well with some Dynamec. So I'll put some Dynamec in here, one mil to, ten, uh, to, to one litre of water, uh, giving a good spray right down, down the flute, um, down the flag, should I say. So they're done. I have just turned this lights on just for to show you what's going on. I'll be turning the lights off again um, once I leave. So they're all done. I've got the onions done as well. So the onions are in here. So these two, four, six, eight, the nine pizza bag garden onions, um, I'm going to pot these ones up. These are the heavies next to them. Um, they'll probably end up bulbing or going to seed or something because they've been left in far too long. And I've got a few more there to put on as well. So I've got a few more onions to put on. Uh, I need to make some space and clear some space out of here. I have to take a, a, a section of this off the top of here as well because I don't need it. Um, but they're done as well. So that's everything sorted. My quality stock leaks, stock onions are coming on all right. That one there has nearly rooted <laughs> i'll put that into a bigger pot but everything else is sorted out in here as well no sign of the tomatoes in the propagator just yet but i'm not surprised another couple more days and they will come up actually actually i'm telling a lie on this side here let me see if i can zoom in here can you see them two little white bits there and there there's the tomatoes starting to come up Hey, check out. <laughs> so, I tell a lie. So, the tomatoes are coming up after four days, uh, four or five days, which is fantastic. I'll give them another, I've already given them a drink today. I've got these red giant cabbage to pot on eventually next week as well. So, I've got myself a few bits and pieces to do. But the main thing is, I've got myself back prepared, back ready to go. I've got the plate, my greenhouse is sorted for. Um, potting on, I can get the potting on done in there when I get a chance to do so. I've got my compost. I've got my pot and on shed, greenhouse sorted out. I've got my shed sorted out as well, with all the lights and everything. I've got them leaks potted up there and there until the first week of May when I take them down to the allotment and put them outside. Or wait until the, um, the, the temperature gets above into double digits overnight, then I'll take them down and I can start some more stuff off in here. Because I will be doing um, tomatoes and stuff in here for starting things off. And I've got to put another load of, uh, got, I'm going to be starting seeds off um, for the March zones. In a few weeks time because as you know I will be growing some standard vegetables as well this year I'm waiting for seeds coming from um, the various different outlets so as soon as they come I'll get a, I'll get a um, rough idea what I need to get sorted and I'll put them in I also want to get some um, I also want to get some sweet peas put back in as well because I do want some sweet peas so we'll see how they go but for me from this week I want to thank you all for watching thanks everybody for subscribing and I will catch you all next week so take care, stay safe, watch what you're doing.